All right, good folks. It's the 2nd of January 2023 at the moment, so Happy New Year. Although I think you all will see this yeah, in a couple of months from now. Yeah. And I thought, what is a better time to do a really old 70s perfume review than right now? So I looked it up. This is one of my oldest perfumes. It's from the 70s and it's Geoffrey Bean Grey Flannel Eau de Toilette. It didn't even come in a box, it came in a, you know, a beautiful flannel sack. I don't know. And this is the bottle. I don't know if you can see it, but no, you can't see it, but I used uh, quite a bit already of it. I think it's real nice. This is the really old school atomizer. Launched in 75. This is a real old school fragrance, of course. Uh, put together by Andre Vrommentin. I butcher that name till death and beyond. Crazy cheap. I paid, uh, I think, 15 euros for what is it, 120 milliliters for flute ounces. And on Notino in the Netherlands, it currently goes for 22 euros per 240 ml, so that will be uh, 8 flute ounces. So, probably one of the cheapest fragrances you'll ever find. Top notes are quite interesting. Uh, Golbanum, Tigrain, Neroli, Bergamot and Lemon. So fresh forest in autumn. So not of a bouquet of flowers but more like a rotting trees uh, and a touch of soap. Real nice actually. Uh, it sounds a bit bad, I guess, by the rotting trees, but if you like the old school kind of fragrances, this is a real fresh one. Uh, with a little bit of bitterness from the Petit Grain and the uh, Galbanum. Yeah, from the top notes, we of course go to the mid notes, the middle notes, and there's Violet, Iris, Geranium, Mimosa. Narcissus, sage and rose in it. So a men's flower bouquet, if you will, in the most old school masculine kind of way. Uh, the forest deepens, I almost say. You know, using that story to sell this fragrance. A bit like a walk towards the heart of the forest. And the sage is in its mid notes, gives a bit of a pepperiness to it, uh, real nice actually, which goes very well with the, with the florals. Uh, still a real bright, a bit soapy, but uh, a little bit more pepperiness to pepper it up, make it a bit more interesting, more nice, I guess. We had the top notes, the mid notes, and now we're landing on the ace notes. Uh, oak, moss, vetiver, cedar, tonka bean, and almond. You know, landing in the, the darker part, the heart of the forest, if you will. Uh, bitter forest kind of scent combined with the earthiness of the, the vetiver. Uh, the tonka bean and Almond sweetens it up a little bit, uh, but in the faintest way possible. Not like uh, you know the modern perfumer perfumery. It's not like a one million or something like that. This is old school sweetness in a masculine fragrance. So not sweet at all, <laughs> if you will. Uh, the al the almond. Um, also seem to 
add uh, the, the faintest bit of bitter sweetness to the to the bass notes combined with uh, of course a little bit uh, woodiness from the cedar it's a real nice uh, bass scent longevity is great long lasting silage is also quite strong uh, really manly old school perfume but of course the, the longevity and the projection is real common in these kinds of old school perfumes you know look at uh, Draca Noir or what is it called again it's quite early still I have only had two cups of coffee but if you see this video somewhere here about old school perfumes I mean those negative one about this fragrance is that some perceive it as a totally different kind of smell especially in the UK uh, it states it's online that it smells a little bit like a urinal cake and toilet duck when I was in the UK in Scotland and Ireland and, and so forth I did not have the pleasure really to smell toilet duck but I can't really imagine that this masterpiece from the 70s smells anything like a toilet I really like it and I suggest you watch of course the, the old school masculine kind of fragrance video and uh, I'll see you there have a nice day don't forget to comment like subscribe share it with your brother your blood brother I don't know ciao